Hey everybody, I'm Conservative Nerd here. Uh, how's everybody doing? Uh, I kind of went undercover here. Uh, I'm on Twitter. I use my uh, my wife account, and uh, I'm just I'm not talking back to these people. I'm just kind of reading their tweets, kind of going undercover, and then I'm going to come up here and just talk a bunch of smack about them, because they're lunatics, man. They're lunatics. So I got a ton of dumb tweets, and I wrote a bunch of them down so I didn't misquote any of these lunatics, and I'm following all the top lunatics. So, yeah, I'm going to just follow them. I might, I don't know, if you guys think maybe, if you guys want to send me some questions, you think I should ask them, but I got to be undercover here so I can't, like, ask them reality questions, because they'll just block you so i have to ask him stupid questions so i haven't really uh I'm, I'm kind of working on that i haven't talked to him yet i'm just kind of gonna follow these morons i'm still doing reviews but uh i thought this might be enjoyable it's terrible it's horrible to follow these people man i hate twitter anyways and then you on top of that i have to do like lunatic Twitter, I'm in hell. I'm not, like just listening to lunatics complain and gripe. That's that's all they do is complain and gripe. You think for living in a place where you know you're pretty well off, you know Americans shouldn't complain that much. But no, that's all they do. That's all they do. So, anyways, let me get to some of these tweets. These tweets of amazement. God, I hate Twitter, anyways. All right, Dan Slot. Dan, I mean, I'm old. I want to get on Twitter now. I don't like almost fifty. I'm going to be on Twitter. Oh boy, yeah. So, anyways, so here we go. Dan Slot. He says, uh, you know, when you barely get your script in on time and you have to finish it at the airport, and you know, I don't know. Like your job is to write. You get paid by Marvel to write, you know, and you have a certain deadline. You only write twenty two pages of a comic, you know. Don't you think you're not gonna do your best work at the airport? That's a busy, loud, annoying airport. Like that's probably not where you're gonna do your best work, is it, Dan? You know, if you're at home, you know, comfortable or in an office comfortable, maybe you can do your best work. But I don't think you do your best work at the office. Now that isn't even the crazy part. The crazy part is the guy says, and this is just from today. All these tweets are from today. This is how insane these people are. This guy says, well, maybe you should just stay off the Internet. That's it. He just says, hey, why don't you try staying off the Internet for a little while, at least until you get your script done. So what does Mr. Slot, Slot old Blocktavius, as Doug Ernst likes to call him, uh, what does he say about that? He says, to clarify, that's how he starts the sentence too, like, what a douchebag, when did you become like a, a real boring history teacher in the 10th grade here, to clarify, you're blocked from my feed, <laughs> you're blocked from finding screen caps of my tweets, you're blocked from taking pictures of them. And give and you're blocked on giving me advice on how to spend my time. Wow, well, you know, man, if you don't want to take people's advice, Dan, like it's no way to go through life is thinking you're the only opinion that matters and you're the only one that's right. Like, these are insane people. Alana Smith posted this this one. Ooh, this is a good one. This one's pretty good. Lady Gaga is such an incredible force for good in the world. Lady Gaga is an incredible force for good in the world. Like, it isn't even, they're singers, man. They write crappy songs, and that's it, man. Music, you, you like it or you don't, it's not an incredible force for good. Lady Gaga's a millionaire. Times, you know, super millionaire, billionaire. Like, who cares about Lady Gaga? What good is, what good is Lady Gaga? Oh, my God. These people are insane. This is what happens when you don't have, like, any religion. When you take Jesus out of the picture or any religion. Like, any the only religion they even post about is Muslim. And if you, you know, like, these people are insane, okay? That's an insane statement. Like, Lady Gaga is an incredible force for good. 
No wonder your books are terrible, Alana Smith. This is the great Alana Smith, one of the great uh, Milkshake Crew members. members of the, one of the members of the Milkshake Crew, one of the backups for the Milkshake Crew. Yeah. Oh, and I wanted to, I didn't write this one down, but if you guys, anybody watching this lives in Brooklyn, Gabby Rivera is hosting like a, a queer fashion show on Thursday, so. Yeah, she's really, really pouring over the script for America. Yeah, and lesbian fashion show. Sorry, I don't want to say it's not gay. It's a lesbian fashion show, and she's hosting it. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, that's, you know, that's what she does. Instead of writing scripts, she's like, and she's not even posting anything on comics or nothing. She just posts about a stupid... Julia takes a breath and how it was nominated for LGBTQ awards and of course I bet you if I wanted to I could write a book and get nominated for LGBTQ award. probably not because I don't know if I could make the gay talk very realistic with my super cisness so anyways Lady Gaga is an incredible force for good in the world according to Lana Smith at least what a what a great post there Lana Smith is really good for a lot of stupid posts. At least, though, I will say this about Lana Smith. She posts a lot more, like, comic-related stuff than my next two morons on my, on, on my tweet thing here. Uh, Magdalena Visaggio posted this. The Mag's the Bag, man. This is what Mag's the Bag posted. Fun fact... You can just not read comics you don't like. I definitely wouldn't read yours. You're a piece of crap. Like, who is she? Like, just starting out? She's been in the business a year? And she's just like, she can just tell people not to read her books? Man, that's a really good marketing, man. I can see why Marvel's got their eye on this one. I can see. You can see why they're grooming her. To be the next, uh, Gabby Rivera. Yeah, oh my god. And Gabby Rivera and Magdalene Visaggio's variety is like so close together. The only difference is, well, I guess Gabby can't put a lot of words in her book. But Max the Bags can. You know, Gabby, I didn't write this one down either, but I saw it. And she was posting all this stuff about like the best gay porn and stuff. And I was like, don't you write a children's book for like Disney? Because I've been told, I've been told that Martin... That Mar that America is some part of the scholastic scholastic reading program for Marvel for younger readers. So, if that's true, then if they tweet follow her twit and they her their twit if they follow her, I don't know, is it twat is it twit I don't know. If they follow her twat. If they follow her twat, they'll get sick. No, <laughs> okay. If they follow her tweet, kids they get to see a bunch of gay porn stuff. So, get me rid of yeah. Anyways, yeah, I'm undercover, y'all. I'm, I'm witnessing hell on earth on Twitter. These are this is like Caligula stuff. Like this is what happens to this country when these guys take over. It's just it's gonna be like just anarchy. It's gonna be insanity. It's gonna be gay porn everywhere. These people are crazy. All right. So this one here, she doesn't work for Marvel, not yet. She might, because Heather Antos and Max Visaggio and Alana Smith both retweeted this moron's post. And this moron, his name is Alice Sanders. And, and here's the post, okay? I'm going to tell you what she does to her living after I read the post. Because it's pretty amazing stuff. She says, I'm just a girl standing in front of a straight white male telling him I know more about the subject than him because it's my actual job. Okay, you think she was a doctor or brain surgeon, maybe, <laughs> maybe, you know, an astrophysicist, maybe? No, 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 she is a freelance journalist. I don't think she's worked because she doesn't have anything she's done, but she's a freelance journalist. So... Like, that's not, that doesn't, like, you don't say what happened. You don't tell the story because we don't know. Like, all we know is you just attack some guy. And somebody on there actually, like, there was some common sense on the thread because it was mostly just like, oh, that happened to me all the time. Like, yeah. And, oh, that happened so much. And, you know, 
I think, you know, most people try to be polite. You might run into a jerk once in a while. But, like, this whole, like, straight white thing is just ridiculous. They put it on everything. Anything with hate is automatically straight white. Like, they just blamed everything on If you're straight white, you you just ruined the world. You don't even know how you did it, man. I just got to work and come home, man. Oh, my God. So, <laughs> yeah. How did I... I don't, I don't get it. Why do you guys hate me so much? So, anyways... Somebody with some common sense said, I don't really care that you put straight white in front of it. Because he's just like, I've seen gay people do that and, and black people do that to me. Some other chick that sounded like a little, she might have some common sense, you know. Because I hate to shock you, Alice Sanders, who is white, mind you. This is a white person. This is, like, this is, this is insanity. That is insanity, okay? Hating people all of a sudden, making it okay to hate people for being straight and white. Like, I was born that way. I didn't ask to be straight and white. Here's what happened. My parents, they got it on. I wasn't there, you know? I was like a spirit or something, floating around. And I got in the body. I didn't ask. I wasn't like, oh, I want to be white. Oh, I want to be white. No, I know. I just, whatever happens, happens. Your parents are, my parents are white. They got it on. That makes me white. It's not, I didn't ask for it. I didn't, I don't care. It's not a big deal. If I was black, I'd be black and I'd say the same stupid thing. It doesn't matter. Your actions count. Your, the color of your skin does not. But yeah, so this guy's just like, hey, you know, like, why, you know, and then they just attacked him like a gazelle in Africa, and lions just, whew, they were like lions to a gazelle, man, an injured gazelle, because they just pounced on that chick, just like, how dare you say that, you know, straight white males are the ruin everything, straight white males are do it all the time, that's what straight white males do, straight white males try to take over, oh my god. It's insane. The hate that it comes off these people is insane. And there's so many, like, straight white. If you see straight, white, and male, you know a bitch is coming. Just bitch, 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 bitch. They're griping about it because they just hate it. And you shouldn't be writing comics if you're a racist. It's just that simple. So, yeah. So, yeah, and... Uh, the insanity on there is just crazy. So, yeah, I just want to tell you guys, like, I'm following these idiots on Twitter. Another thing I want to talk about is I'm flipping around, you know, and I like to watch a lot of other comic review sites. And I see this girl, and I don't want to see her name. I, I didn't terrorize her or leave a comment or say anything to her because I'm not that type of person. You know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. But she reviews comics, and all the reviews are like, you know, indie. Magdalene Visaggio's Kim and Kim and Lesbian Snack Girl and all the more like you know like you know and they had those kind of readers in the 80s and 90s and they read like Vertigo or weird indie books or you know those kind of books but now they never read Marvel that was just not you know that was the big mainstream company and now Marvel has kind of become an indie company. Because I watched this girl reviewing books and she loves, like, America and Hawkeye. And I'm like, saying, you're thinking you never would have read Marvel 10 years ago. Not even 10 years ago, you know. 10 years ago, you wouldn't have been reading that stuff. But now, they're kind of an indie company. Because they hire, like, weird indie writers from, like, Black Mask. And they all have this insane politics that's, like, far left. And they're always posting. Like, there's tons more. I could have wrote down a hundred of these posts about these nut jobs. About how they were, oh, if you go far left, well, that's good. You know, I can't get left enough. <laughs> hey, what? You can, you can get too left? That's called freaking communism, morons. Like, I've never seen a bunch of people that can't wait to rush a dictatorship. Like, use your freaking head. If you give the government too much power, then you don't have any say anymore. So, you know... All these people that are, like, fighting for socialism do know that when we get socialism, the tanks roll down the street and blow them to smithereens when they protest. So, you know, be careful what you wish for, morons. Because if you wake up one day and we're a socialist country, then you're going to be like, whoa, wait. And then you're going to go out and scream and holler and somebody's going to actually shoot you. So don't be, you got your idiots. You don't even know what you want. But yeah, these people are so insane. They're crazy. They're a bunch of crazy people. 
and I'm going to keep it up. I'm going <laughs> to sneak around, and I'm, I'm you guys' undercover spy on Twitter, and I'm going to... Uh, Try to keep my mouth shut. If anybody's got any questions, I should ask them, like, you know, we got to be, like, sarcastic enough to where they, they don't really catch on. But it's still kind of... I was thinking about, like, asking uh, Gabby when Kate Bishop and uh, America are going to get it on. Because, they, like, you, Kate's got to be a lesbian, right? You write her like a lesbian. I mean, everything she says is a lesbian. She loves the lesbian lifestyle. She said so in issue five. I mean, why ain't she lesbian? When are they going to get it on, Gabby? That might be good. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But as again, you know, thanks for watching. Tomorrow I'll have my review up. I'm, I'm going to get up and read my books and see uh, see what's good and bad. It looks like there's going to be some bad stuff from Marvel. I mean, it's Marvel that Runaways comes out tomorrow. Rainbow Rowl. You know it's an SCW with a name like Rainbow Rowl. So we'll see how that goes. Ugh. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. You guys have a good day. Oh, and uh, before I go, uh, Massachusetts got a video up about uh, the in industry and uh, critical condition. And he talks about Marvel, uh, Marvel being dead. And he's not far off. And I have to say that I agree with him on what he said. But it's a good video, and you guys should check it out. Uh, as a... You know, Nerd Wonder's got a good video up too on uh, Tomboy, which is cool. And if you've heard me, I always like Tomboy. Uh, check out her video on it; it's pretty cool. I still haven't finished <laughs> yet. Between work and Twitter and reading Marvel and DC every week, and yeah, and then you know, if I do want to read something a little different, I just don't get that much time anymore. But uh, you guys have a good day. Enjoy the comics.